Right guys, how are we? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today we look at Michael Jordan greatest dunks. Did he no, he he played for the he played Look, I'm I'm not a huge basketball fan, I must admit. I'm a rugby fan. I'm a rugby player, I'm a rugby fan. I am an NFL fan somewhat. Am I an NBA fan? Every now and then, you know, especially once, whilst I was actually playing basketball during high school, I was certainly an NBA fan. But what we're going to see here is, I'm assuming, you know, just the best of the best from Michael Jordan, the big man, the greatest of all time. Did he just play for the Chicago Bulls? No, he didn't. No, he played. He played uh, a few years. Went away to baseball came back won three more championships i'm gonna say he actually retired again and then he came back for the wizards who he now is a part owner of if that's wrong let me know down in the comment section below either way guys well michael jordan greatest dunks a video created by none other than joseph vincent two and a half million views and you're getting another one from me let's go Michael Jordan, a four million dollar a year superstar, leaping, twirling, flying through the air like a man unleashed from gravity. Well, that's the classic fucking Jordan dunk, isn't it? Ear Jordan. Ear motherfucking Jordan. Have you had any Ear Jordan basketball shoes? Have you ever had a, a Nike, you know, Ear Jordan type t shirt? Where there's the the silhouette of of the great man getting up there and and dunking the shit out of that 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 rim, uh, I'm assuming that's come from not specifically from that dunk, but certainly come from that era. Holy cow! You can just substitute the Knicks right there. It could be Jordan Laws, Lakers, Jordan Laws, Celtics, and everything else. Everywhere you go, you're you're getting this kind of thing. Last night, your first appearance at the Garden. Michael Jordan. Oh, you don't want to get, you don't want to give the ball to Jordan on a fast break. What's seriously, that is the Jordan dunk. Did he ever fuck it up? Did he ever bounce it off the rim? Did he ever say, you know what, on a fast break, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam this down, but it didn't quite work out because, I mean, for me, I mean, that would be something else. Let's see. That is the Jordan dunk, though, isn't it? That is the Jordan dunk. It's 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 palming the ball, coming up and under, and then round the top, and just absolutely slamming it down. And he has shot to start him already, although still in his first month as a professional. Nobody like him. Point blank. I never seen nobody play like he plays. Is that right, Lazar? Oh no! Not again! Not again! Oh, he's doing it too. <laughs> Two-handed. You like that, Jack? He wants to indicate where he's going to take off on this dunk. No, no. This has got to be the dunk contest. Sure. In fact, let's let's see exactly where that was. Where that is on the free throw line. That is on the free throw line. Where he's going to take off on this dunk. He's doing it in some high top Jordans. You know, this is no this is no basketball shoe that actually, you know, increases the vertical jump. This is this is some high top flat sole fucking Jordans and let's see what happens. I ain't seen this before. You can fly, can't you? For a little bit. Because there's a whole generation of kids now. You can fly. <laughs> I've just got goosebumps throughout my entire body. He can fly. I was going to swear by LeBron James. Because if you're watching LeBron James, it's hard to imagine that anyone was ever better than that. But kids, I'm here to tell you there was someone better than that. Jordan just right. Why does he always do that backwards type fucking swing type like tomahawk type dunk what, what is that what, why does he always do that it's, it's almost as if he he goes past the hoop and he's like you know what i'm gonna slam it down let's do it the cradle for his 10th point and the bucks are going to call time here's a kaboom 
and when they started trying to crown him early on... Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're almost a third to the video, and Joseph Vincent decides to throw his credentials up on the screen. We're almost a third to no, the video, long, Joseph. I felt like I had to prove myself. Just like when I was at North Carolina, I had to prove myself. I love it. You know, uh, you know everyone's picking us to do somewhat bad, and uh, you know, it takes all the pressure off this team. Watch Gino get ready to hit it all the way down the court. With Michael going, maybe? Yep, there it is. Michael Jordan on the breakaway. <laughs> Can you imagine starting a game in that fashion? Oh my lordy lord. There ain't no NBA games these days that are started in that fashion. That's incredible. From outside the paint, he has some hops. He has some real hops. I feel like I've actually looked this up before, but I'm, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go Michael Jordan, we're going to go to his Wikipedia, and we're going to try and find his, his pre-draft measurables, you know what I mean? As far as, you know, pre, pre-NBA pre draft. Uh, what, is his, what is his vertical jump? What is his vertical jump? I don't know if we're going to actually... Well, we're certainly not going to see it there. Um, I need to know it. I need to know it. As a guy who loves stats, I need to know Michael Jordan's vertical jump. And if it's anything under 40 inches, I... <laughs> Jeez. No, 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 no. That's not impo that's not possible. That is not possible. Forty eight inches. It's not possible. It's not possible. Is it possible? It may well be. If at all there was a player who could justify or even top the moniker, his Amos. Alright, so there's two things I don't actually understand there. Either his Amos or the moniker. Absolutely no idea what the hell either of those things mean, but it is Michael Jordan. Jordan tops our list of players with the highest vertical leap of 48 inches. This to go along with a hang time of 0 0.92 seconds. 48 inches. Alright, so DK Metcalf's around the 40 inch mark. Saquon Barkley's around the 40 inch mark. Tyreek Hill. I mean, I must admit, he's probably 37, 38 inches. 48 inches at 6 foot 6. I need to ask this question. Did Jordan really have a 48 inch vertical? Bottom line, Jordan's incredible full 4 foot vertical leap put the top of his head 6 inches above the rim and the bottom of his feet higher than the rest of... Our NBA studs, rocket ship, Jordan, jumps 5 inches higher than Vince Carter, 4 inches higher than James, and an incredible 20 inches higher than the NBA average. 48 inches on the vertical jump. I would love to see that. We are not going to see that in a combine type setting. But where we do see that is in the game. You just got absolutely mossed before the great man Randy Moss Michael was actually Jordan. a thing. Here's the story. Wilkins finishes with 145. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. A 49. He needs a 10 from every single judge to win this dunk contest. Jeez, this is something else. Backing all the way to the middle of the back. Michael. If this is the moment, I mean, fuck! This is crazy! He walked down, he took his time. 48 ties, a 49 win! Well, the uh, first few toes were over the line, but either way. Oh! Look at that! Not only fucking dunks it, but also poses mid ear. Unbelievable. Un. Fucking believable. Well, the crowd lets you know what they think of it. 50. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan. <laughs> they gave him a 50. They gave him a 50. And he won the contest. 
would you believe? When, when you mention the teams Jordan went through, those Knicks especially, I mean, Mason, Oakley, Ewing, Man. Jordan's going to the hole against them. Oh, what a hole by Jordan! He's a machine. He's a machine. You could say he had a problem. He was so competitive. His entire life just revolved around beating other people. That's how he measured himself. That's how he measured everyone he played with. And why did they call him the black cat? Because he was smooth. <laughs> that motherfucker from the Suns doesn't know what's going on. Those were unstoppable force during the 1995 <sighs> campaign. They terrorized the, the playoffs. Is that Pippin? <laughs> he just does it in his sleep. I mean, it is what it is. He does what he wants to do. What I'm assuming, Foot Locker, was Foot Locker actually a brand 20 years ago? That's interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Flight That's the thing I take from that. It was a wrap for everyone in the league. Well, I tell you what, Joseph Vincent put uh, the, the, the tiger, the lion, roar behind the likes of um, Marshawn Lynch, actually. And he's done it once again. And I, I really appreciate that, Joe, Joseph. The first Cheers, guy mate. that would literally fly through the f***ing air, slamming in dunks. Where well, you would see it on the highlight reels, on like ESPN, you would see it on the news. He gets around the first guy and he just goes up for the dunk. He just goes up for the dunk. He's got a 48 inch fucking vertical jump. You know what? Doesn't matter how fucking tall you are. No one. No one. Not a single human in the entire world. Can defend that. Yeah, <laughs> well we. Oh, Michael Jordan! He finally got his dunk on Mount the Tumble. No, rebound, turn right off to Jordan. Michael, Michael Jordan, power jam in Barkley's face. I mean, it looks like 48 inches, I must admit. Oh, so, such, such control. Such control within the air. AKA, Air Jordan. Such control. And what a series. What a video. What a tribute to the great man, Michael Jordan, that was. Okay, right. That's it. I'm calling it here. I need to edit these videos up. I've done Kobe Bryant. I've done Michael Jordan. I've done LeBron James. The most savage and emotionally charged sports moments in history. We've done four videos. I want to say thank you so much to Joseph Vincent. I want to say thank you so much to you guys. Um, if you're still here, right here, right now. Thank you. Uh, like the video if you have enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you're new around here. And, uh, well, with that being said, I'll see you soon. Peace out.